The Black Death. In the mid-1300s, the Black Death, a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague, struck Europe and Asia. Its first appearance in Europe occurred in October 1347 when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at Messina, a port in Sicily. The scene that unfolded was terrifying, as most sailors on board the ships had already succumbed to the disease, the Sicilian authorities ordered the death ships to leave the harbor, but it proved futile. In the ensuing five years, the Black Death wreaked havoc, claiming the lives of over 20 million people in Europe, approximately one-third of the continent's population. What caused the onset of the Black Plague? Even before the arrival of the death ships at Messina's port, rumors of a deadly epidemic known as the Great Pestilence had already circulated among many Europeans, as it ravaged trade routes in the Near and Far East. By the early 1340s, the disease had taken its toll in China, India, Persia, Syria, and Egypt. The origins of the plague can be traced back to Asia more than 2,000 years ago, and it is believed to have been transmitted through trading ships. However, recent research suggests that the pathogen responsible for the Black Death might have existed in Europe as early as 3000 BC. Manifestations of the Black Plague The European populace was ill-prepared to confront the horrifying reality of the Black Death. According to the Italian poet Giovanni Boccaccio, both men and women experienced initial symptoms characterized by swelling in the groin or under the armpits, growing to the size of a common apple, or in some cases, as large as an egg. These inflamed areas, commonly referred to as plague boils, emitted blood and pus. The progression of the disease brought about a slew of unpleasant symptoms, including fever, chills, vomiting, diarrhea, and excruciating aches and pains, culminating in swift and inevitable death. The bubonic plague primarily targeted the lymphatic system, leading to the enlargement of lymph nodes. Left untreated, the infection could spread to the bloodstream or the lungs, exacerbating the severity of the illness. What caused the spread of the Black Death? The Black Death was a frighteningly contagious and indiscriminate disease. Merely coming into contact with the clothes of an infected person, as described by Boccaccio, seemed to be enough to transmit the malady to others. Moreover, the disease exhibited terrifying efficiency, as individuals who were perfectly healthy before going to bed at night could succumb to death by the following morning. Interesting fact. Some scholars believe that the nursery rhyme, Ring Around the Rosie, was composed to describe the symptoms of the Black Death. Understanding the Black Death presently, scientists have unraveled the nature of the Black Death, which is now identified as the plague, and attribute its spread to a bacterium called Yersinia pestis. The discovery of this germ was credited to the French biologist Alexandre Yersin in the late 19th century. They have determined that the bacillus can travel through the air, as well as via the bites of infected fleas and rats, facilitating person-to-person -person transmission. During the medieval period, both fleas and rats were prevalent throughout Europe, particularly aboard various ships, providing a means for the deadly plague to spread from one European port city to another. After affecting Messina, the Black Death swiftly reached Marseille in France and Tunis in North Africa, followed by Rome and Florence, pivotal cities linked by intricate trade routes. By the middle of 1348, the plague had struck Paris, Bordeaux, Lyon, and London. Although this sequence of events remains terrifying, it is now comprehensible. However, in the 14th century, there was no rational explanation for the outbreak. Back then, no one comprehended the exact mode of transmission between patients, nor did they possess knowledge on how to prevent or treat it. For instance, one doctor suggested that instantaneous death occurs when the aerial spirit escaping from the eyes of the sick man strikes the healthy person standing near and looking at the sick. Treatment of the Black Death During the outbreak of the Black Death, physicians resorted to crude and unsophisticated methods of treatment, including bloodletting and boil lancing, which were not only unsafe but also unsanitary. Additionally, superstitious practices like burning aromatic herbs and bathing in rose water or vinegar were employed. The general population, gripped by fear, did whatever they could to avoid contact with the sick. Doctors refused to attend to patients, priests hesitated to administer last rites, and shopkeepers shuttered their businesses. Many individuals fled the cities, seeking refuge in the countryside. However, even there, the disease found its way, affecting not only humans but also livestock like cows, sheep, goats, pigs, and chickens. The widespread loss of sheep during the Black Death resulted in a significant European wool shortage. Furthermore, in their desperation to preserve their own lives, some people callously abandoned their sick and dying loved ones, believing it would ensure their own immunity, as poignantly described by Boccaccio. How did the Black Death subside? 
the Black Death did not entirely vanish and resurged with intensity years later. However, authorities in the port city of Ragusa, modern-day Dubrovnik, adopted an effective measure to curb its spread. They implemented a practice of isolating incoming sailors until it could be determined that they were not carriers of the disease, essentially creating a form of social distancing based on isolation to slow down the transmission of the plague. Initially, the sailors were kept on their ships for a period of 30 days, known as a Trentino. Later, this isolation period was extended to 40 days, which gave rise to the term quarantine, a practice that continues to be used to this day. Is the Black Plague still present today? The Black Death epidemic had subsided by the early 1350s, yet the plague resurfaced periodically over the following centuries. Presently, modern sanitation and public health measures have significantly reduced the disease's impact, although it has not been eradicated entirely. Although antibiotics are now available to treat the Black Death, the World Health Organization reports that there are still 1,000 to 3,000 cases of plague occurring annually. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe.